All right, maybe third time's a charm. I'm hoping. Okay. Ah, I think that's better. Okay, I, I don't know. I had to unplug my phone. But I don't know what difference that would make. Having, having my phone plugged in should make a difference in my orientation. Hi, Steph. How are you? I got my order today, so I thought I would jump on and play with the darling donkeys. I just This is the third time. Hi, Cindy. Is that better? I don't know what happened. Like, I had my phone plugged in. Maybe it won't let me change orientation when it's plugged in. So I had to unplug it. My phone is at 68%, so let's hope that it'll last long enough. Because I, I can't do the video sideways. Hi, June. Thank you, Cindy. Okay, so I'm going to use Darling Donkeys. And I didn't even get them, like, all mounted, but I mounted the stamps that I'm, I'm going to use this guy here. He's so cute. I love him. Okay. So, I'm going to just grab a block here. And then I'm going to use some of the, the lettering. I'm going to do Hee Haw, It's Your Birthday. I need to order some smaller blocks. Okay, so I got my stamps mounted and ready to go. Um, I think I'm gonna do a, a white card base. And I'm gonna use the thick white. Did you enjoy it, Cindy? Yeah, I don't get to do as many unboxings as um, some of the other demonstrators just because um, I can't afford to buy a lot of the stuff in the catalog. Um, so I'm gonna cut this at five and a half. And I'm gonna score it at four and a quarter. And then I have, um, I'm going to do black for my first layer. And I know I want to use the painted textures embossing folder. And I know I want to use the ombre paper. And this is out of one of the celebration papers, and I can't remember which one, but I'll link it in the description below on YouTube later. Um, so I'm going to cut uh, this piece down to um, 3.75. By five, wait. I'm going to cut a little bit off each end because if I go five, I want, yeah, I want more of, um, I want to be able to see more of the light at the top. So we'll do that. And like I said, I don't really, this is just, I'm winging it on the fly. I don't really have that much prepped. And I cut out um, a stitch circle and then I cut out a, like I did a frame. And then I want to have, I'm going to stamp and cut out my donkey because I want to raise him with 3Ds. And I think he would look better stamped, cut out, and then added on here. Um, I'm just debating on if I want to texture that white circle piece or not. And I think for this, I just want to do like a, a two inch strip across 
the center of the card. Hi, Allison. How are you? I'm winging it on the fly. And I'm going to cut this at uh, 3.752 because I want it the same width as this piece here. And I could always use this side too, but I think I like the flowers. I think I like that. Okay, so I have... I have a white card base. Then I'm going to layer the black piece on here. And then this piece is going to go on here. I'm going to emboss this. That piece is going to go there. And then that piece is going to go there. And then I'll figure out my sentiment later. Your, oh, flower and field designer series paper. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't really look at that before I started, but if I upload this to YouTube later, I'll put I'll put all the products in the description below. Okay, so for my donkey, I'm going to stamp him in memento. And hopefully my um, battery on my phone lasts long enough to do at least one card. I don't know if I'll get two done tonight. We'll see. So how is everybody tonight? I don't even know if I'm going to color him. I think I might do him in gray. Hi, Renee. I have 11, 12 people. This is the most I've ever had ever. This is exciting. Okay, so... I've never had 12 people at a live before. Oh, he's so cute. I've got to make sure I'm in frame. Okay. I got my tablet turned up on the side so I can see more comments. So I should be able to keep up. Okay, so I have, let me see, I have, I have crumb cake or I have gray granite. So I've never, I've never used, I'm, like I said, this is my first time using the donkeys. So I think, because I know there's brown donkeys and there's gray donkeys. I think I'm going to do gray. Gray donkeys. Okay, I need a piece of... I just need a scrap piece of paper to color. Yeah, I'm thinking gray too. And let me let me texturize this first. I want to see what I'm anxious to use this. And where it's gradient, I think it will look really cool. Okay. Let's see. So I need plate one and plate four. So there's what that looks like. Isn't that pretty? That is so cool, I must say. I'm going to use this folder a lot. I can see that happening. I wish I had Rococo Rose cardstock because I'd probably do my card base in that. Yeah, I think I like that. Okay, so now I'm going to start coloring in my donkey. And I'm going to do grays. I have to, all I have is light gray granite and dark gray granite. So I'm going to start with the I'm going to start with the light
And I'm gonna fussy cut him out. And I don't know why I like to use the light first, but I do. And I just color. My, my, my coloring is very simple. You won't see too much elaborate coloring coming out of me. But he's a cartoon, so. I find you don't have to be too crazy with with the cartoon designs. Oh, he's so cute. I love him already. Okay, so I'm going to go back in with the dark. And I'm just going to kind of just highlight the out, like the out, outer edge of him. And then I'll go back in with the light just to kind of blend that out again. And I'm going to do his hoofs in the darker and his mane in the darker. I'll probably just do his muzzle and ear in the petal pink. I want to do this tail in the darker too. He's so cute, I know. It's been so hard watching everybody else play with all the new stuff. Oh, I can't even tell you. And then I'm just going to do his muzzle and his ear in the petal pink. Does anybody else have this set? I know now I get to play with him. You have him, Allison? Yeah, he's really cute. Okay, so now we're gonna... Oh, I hope you're feeling better, Cindy. It's no fun to not feel good. No fun at all. Okay, so I'm just gonna... And I hate fussy cutting. I'm not good at it at all. But I really want him to, I wanna put him on with 3Ds and I want him to pop. So that's why I'm gonna cut him out. Oh, really, Cindy? Ooh, yeah. Knock on wood, I haven't gotten like, I got my flu shot this year. I get a flu shot every year, so. But I'm like, I work in a grocery store, so I have to, I'm a little nervous about getting sick, but. So far, so good. But I really think wearing the masks at work is like really helping. And then I have to sanitize the machines every time somebody leaves. So I just think we have to do this for a little bit longer until we get all the vaccines rolled out. But I 
I'm hoping we can get to normal at some point this year would be nice. I might have to grab my black Copic marker and just kind of, I like to go over the edges. I don't have the black stamping up blends yet. So. And I must say he is a little tedious to cut out, but I think he will be worth it. just concentrating. I can't really talk and fussy cut at the same time. <laughs> okay. I'm doing a good job? Oh, I don't think I am. There's just so many twists and turns, and then I'm trying just, oh, around here is going to be fun, around his tail. Maybe if I go, yeah. I just think he'd be cute popped up on dimensionals. That's all. Okay. Now I know why people don't fussy cut on um, in their videos. They do it ahead of time, but like I said, I'm winging it on the fly. Okay. Yeah, this is, I don't know if I find, maybe these scissors are just a little bit bigger than what I'm used to. Oops. Just he might have been a little bit easier to cut out. I should have looked at that before I started this. Because his tail, I don't know how I'm going to get in there. Okay, let's see. I don't know how I'm going to get in there without messing him up. Yeah, I didn't think this through at all. Okay. Because I can't I can't get I can't get in there to do the sharp turn. I'm gonna try my smaller pair of scissors maybe. I don't think it's gonna make a difference, but Just gotta go in here and do this. I know the trick is to turn the paper and like not turn your scissors. Okay, so I'm gonna go grab my black Copic marker and just kind of go over his edges. He's so cute. Okay, so.
I'm wondering if I should stamp him on the circle. And then add that over it. What do you think? Do you think I should do that? Oops. Or should I just go like that? I'm just going to see what it looks like. If I don't like it, I can just cut out another circle. You don't think I should read? No, I'm not going to redo him, but I just think he'd be cute to stamp down and then just kind of when I raise him. Nope, that's not going to look good because then you're going to you're going to see I don't think I'm going to be able to get his tail. Well, I might be able to. We'll see. Okay, so I got that. Now I need to think about my sentiments. So I have hee haw. It's your birthday. And I'm just going to. I have some I have some thick whisper white scraps here. And I'm gonna stamp. I'm gonna stamp those in black as well. Yeah, I, I will, Cindy. I'll just put him on dimensionals. Okay, so we have Hee Haw. And then we have It's Your Birthday. Now, there was one of the sets I got today that dies I got today always dies they came with these little I wonder if those would fit it'll fit it's your birthday let me see I don't know the hee-haw might be Yeah, I don't think the hee haw is going to work. But this one will work, so I'm going to cut this out. And it just fits. Oh, it does a little embossing rectangle around it. I don't know if you can see that. But it does a little embossing. That's cute. Oh, now I want to get the hee-haw done too, so it'll match. Let's see. I'm going to try it, see what happens.
because that is so cute. What do you think? Do you think that looks okay or is it too close? I love it when stamp set or dies come with like extra little bits like that. I know. Okay, so. Looks good. Okay, so now I gotta grab my dimensionals, and I think I'm gonna just use minis on him. And some of those I might have to cut down. Yeah, I don't know why I couldn't go in a certain orientation earlier. That was annoying. I wouldn't think having my phone plugged in would cause so much trouble. Yeah, I don't think I'd be fussy cutting this donkey out again. I think I would pick out one of the the other ones. I think would be a little bit easier. But you don't know until you try, I guess. Okay, so. But he is so cute. He's kind of worth it. Doing some surgery. Oh. I can see the dimensional poking out, so I gotta trim it. Okay, I definitely need one on his tail. And oh, those are gonna be skinny. What if I do this? This is tricky. Okay, I just need a little piece on his tail and then I think we're good. Oh, that's so small. Okay. I don't want I don't want him to sag. That's why I'm going through all this. Okay.
Hi, Blanca. How are you? Haven't seen you in a while. Are you all done work for the day? Okay, I need one more piece on his foot. Oh, is that a smudge? Let me see. Oh, I can put a, I can put a, a dot uh, embellishment over that. It's fine. Okay, so. Page, look, isn't he cute? That was a lot of like trouble fussy cutting that out, but I think it was totally worth it. I know this is, I've never had 19 people at a live before, so it must have been you sharing this, Cindy, because normally I only have like, I think five is the most I've ever had before. So thank you, I really appreciate it. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm also gonna add some of these too, I think. But we can start piecing this together. Thank you, June, thank you, Paige. I always pay attention to detail, Blanca. Well, you've known me for a long time. A long, well, what? I moved to Edmonton in what, 2005? And I pretty much started working like as soon as we got there. Pretty much. Isn't that a pretty embossing folder? Like, I love it. It's gorgeous. And I think I want the light at the top and the dark at the bottom. Oh, you're so kind, Blanca. Once the pandemic's over, you'll have to come visit me. Come to Nova Scotia. I'd love to show you around. Take you to Peggy's Cove. Okay, so this I'm going to glue on. Did I freeze up? I don't know. My my tablet looks like it's my tablet looks fine. And I'm still, yeah, my phone looks fine too. What embossing folder is this? This is the um, Painted Textures 3D embossing folder. This is in the new June to uh, January to June mini catalog. I didn't get anything else out of that suite but the um, embossing folder. <laughs> okay, so that I'm going to put I think I want that right in the middle. I'm, um, I'm, yeah. I. Hi, Terry. I'm using the um. This, these are the celebration papers that are in the um. What did I do with my catalog? Hill. That's true love. Paper blooms. 
Okay, so the paper that I ran through the embossing folder, that is Oh So Ombre. This you can order free in the celebration catalog. And then this paper is also a celebration item. It's Flower and Field Designer Series paper. So these are the papers. And depending on um, where you live, um, like in Canada, you, um, you buy $60 worth of product, you can get this pack of paper for free, or you can get this pack of paper for free. So that, those are the two papers I'm using. I think I'm just going to put this right in the middle. It might just be your internet. Try, um, I'll try refreshing, um, Cindy. Let's see if that helps you. I love the donkeys too. You're in Michigan? Okay, I'm in Nova Scotia, Canada, so you're actually not too far across the border from me, Terry. We're both kind of on the East Coast, right? And Cindy's in Texas. Allison, you're in Australia, correct? June, you're in Canada, and Blanca's in Canada. Yeah, come to Nova Scotia, I'll show you around. So I got a smudge or something there, but I'm gonna add some of these embellishments later. Okay, so I'm just going to grab some more dimensionals. Oh, you're in, you're in, why did I think you were in Australia? I bet you I'm getting you mixed up with Renee. I bet you any amount of money. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Renee's in Australia. That's, okay. So let's add some dimensionals to this. And I think five should be good. Oh my goodness, I have 24 people. Renee is in Australia. See, I, I knew, I knew, yeah, I'm getting you, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Sin, um, Allison, my bad. I should know that. You come to my lives. Okay. So I'm just gonna, I don't think I want him kicking. I think I want him like this. Oh, Canada, Blanca. <laughs> yep, we have the beaver. I think I want to add these with dimensionals too. This little hee-haw. It's your birthday. And I'm going to add those with the minis. Okay. So follow me on Facebook, everybody. I'd love to have more people follow me. I have a YouTube channel as well, um, Ink with Heather, if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers so I can go live from my phone. And I got quite a ways to go, but it's all good. Okay, so. I think the hee-haw I'm going to put sideways, and then this one I'm going to put straight. Isn't it cute? I mean, okay, so these are the colors in the Oso oh Ombre paper. Bermuda Bay, Blackberry Bliss, Granny Apple Green, and Rococo Rose. I don't have any of these inks or any of these card stocks. So I'm like, well, I'm going to have to pair it with other things going on because yeah I don't I don't have any of those paper like inks or cardstocks 
So I almost didn't get the paper because I'm like, well, I don't really have any anything to go with it. But then I'm like, well, I can just pair it with other patterns and it should be fine. It's just I'm really new and um, I can't afford it all right now. So I'm just slowly building up my inventory piece by piece. You got a cutter, Blanca? Because you see... You see my awesome cards? So are you making cards now? The colors look good, Allison. Yeah, I think so. Because there's a little bit of, like those little flowers are kind of the same color. I think it's um, Rococo Rose. Pretty sure. Okay, so that I'm just going to put up here. Hee haw. And then it's your birthday. And then I'm going to add some of these. You have to add slowly. You got that right. Sure do. Hey, hi, Hildy. Thank you. What are you laughing at, Blanca? <laughs> so, uh, so you're saying you're not making your own cards? Okay, so I would definitely want to put a dot there over my smudge. And I'm going to put... big one here and then I'll put a little one up here there that is the card done not bad for just winging it on the fly oh are you scrapbooking I started out as a scrapbooker and then after I ran out of pictures of scrapbook I turned I turned to card making and I've been doing that since, I've been making cards since 2006. Yeah. So if you can fill a 12 by 12 page, Blanca, you, you can fill um, a four by five and a half space. Oh, thank you, Terry. Thank you. I must say that embossing folder, I think, made the card. And I love these black dots. I'm having a hard time right now not adding Winkostella. I don't think it needs Winkostella. I was going to add a little bit of Winkostella to the donkey, but I I don't know. I don't think I I don't think I will. But I love these little these little dies came with the always dies, and look, they come with little little dies, which I really like, and. It does a little bit of embossing around. I like it. It's really cute. So I use this little small one here. But then it comes with two other ones. Because the... Let me just grab the stamp set and I'll just show you. Because the, the letters are like long and skinny so but I like that it just happened to work with the donkey so that turned out good for on the for being on the fly I rock this I you know what most of my Facebook lives I wing it on the fly it's not too often I have stuff prepped because I think part of the fun is seeing the the start to the end you know, like, like, like a lot of people on YouTube, like they have, they have everything prepped, ready to go. And then they, they jump on YouTube and yeah, their videos are short and sweet. And I do that too. I, I have shorter videos, but I think it's fun to see from start to finish. Thank you, Paige. Well, it's only seven o'clock. Should I should I play around? Should I do another donkey card?
because let's see what else do another one okay let's do another one I just think he turned out so cute I'll bring him back at the end and we'll recap on him okay so let's do I want to use some more of this paper because um, this is no longer active February 28th so because this is a free item out of the celebration catalog so I want to get my use out of this paper let's go with let's see let's, what other papers come in that um, I want, to, I want to do something totally, I want to pick some different papers. And I want to use this paper here. Where's the green? I know there's green. Oh, there we go. Let's do, I want to do something with, I want to do something with the dots. I think. Okay, it, this might end up being like a long Facebook Live, and I'll probably upload it to YouTube. The people who don't like to watch long videos don't have to watch it, but I like I like I like winging it on the fly. It's fun. Um. So let's see. Oh, that's really pretty. Ooh, that's really pretty. And we do have a donkey that is holding a flower. Let's do this with this. Oh, wait, what's this? What do you think? Which do you like better? Do you like this paper or this paper? And I'm gonna use this. He's holding a little rose, a little flower, which might be cute with this set. I hope my, my um, the smaller flowers, okay. That works for me too. And let's see, I have to, I'm going to have to mount him because I haven't used him yet. The smaller, yeah, I like the smaller flowers too. Okay, so we'll go with that. Whoops. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Peel this off. Huh? There we go. Okay, I'm gonna need a, I'm gonna need a bigger block. Okay. Okay, so that can go back in here. I love the donkeys. I'm in love. Okay, so I think I'm gonna grab, let's see, there's yellow in this paper. I just gotta look at what other colors are in this. We have bumblebee, okay. I don't have bumblebee, so I might have to use so saffron. Um, cherry cobbler. I don't, I don't think I have, I might have cherry cobbler cardstock. Yeah, I think I do. Um, there's a lot of colors in here I don't have, but. I 
I do have cherry cobbler and I do have so saffron, so we'll probably go with that. I was up to 31. Thanks to you, Cindy. Thank you for sharing. Okay, so uh, these are the colors I'm going to use. And I think I'm going to do a yellow mat. And I'm going to do the cherry cobbler card base. Okay, so. So cut it five and a half and we're going to score it four and a quarter. And I'm just going to see if I can get this lined up. I'm really bad for not getting my card bases. There's my card base, and then my mat is going to be four by five and a quarter. And then my flower piece is going to be. Three point seven five by five, and this time I might just use a small strip of the. Okay, what did I do with it? Oh, I moved it over here. So I can either put a band, a band of this across the middle, or I can break this up and do half, half and half. What do you think? Did I, oh, I'm just going to grab, I got some um, new rectangle dies today. What did I do with them? I just want to see something here. I am so not organized. It's because I didn't get nothing put away after my, um, after I unlocked everything. Hmm, what did I do with those? my dies already. Hmm. Oh good. Well I guess I'm not using my new dies because they went a miss. Probably right in front of my face. Okay, I don't know what I did with them. Okay, so check the floor. earlier for my unboxing. It's just I just I have so much stuff on my table. No, I'm not seeing them. They're probably like right in front of my face.
They didn't fall in my garbage. I don't know what I did with them. I got so much stuff strewn everywhere. Okay. My stamp, no, they're not, my box is empty. Oh, you mean a, ver a vertical band just going down here? Yeah, we could try that. Let's see. Maybe, what, an inch and a half, you think? We'll try an inch and three quarters first. Let's see what that looks like. I'm going to go this way. That's going to bug me now because I'm like, I'm so excited to get the stitch rectangles. I'll have to clean up later. That's all good. Or do I want to go this way? Well, my last card I went in the middle, so I don't want to do that. I want to do something different. Just got to cut this down. Okay. Okay. You think I should go narrower? A narrower band? Okay. So we'll go right like this. Because I can always put this on the inside of the card. Like that. I think that'll look good. And then I'm going to need a piece of um, Whisper White for the inside. So, four by five and a quarter. And I'll cut this down to four so I can put that on the inside of my card. Just like a little decorative strip down below. So that's going to go on the inside. Okay, so now for, I'm going to do the donkey holding the rose. Make sure I'm staying in frame. Sorry, guys. Okay. And I'm not fussy cutting this one out. Although he might be easier, but... I'm, I'm not good at fussy cutting. Okay. He's cute. Now I'll have to color the rose in, um, all I have for red is real red. So, hopefully my lighting is okay. Hi Betty. Hi, Anissa. I hope I pronounced that correctly. I have people here that I've never had before, so that's awesome. Okay, so I think, let me see. No, I'm just going to do it in red. Oh, I need green for the, uh, for the stem. I have uh, old olive. 
for that. Close enough. Well, I don't want to pronounce it wrong. Can you spell it like it's pronounced, like in syllables? That might help me out. Because I don't care for it when people pronounce my last name wrong. It's pronounced parrot, like the bird, but it's spelt differently. And people say parrot. It's not parrot, it's parrot. Like, especially, like, scammers who call me on my phone. Can I speak to Mrs. Parrot? It's not parrot, it's parrot. Like the bird. So, Anita, instead of the T. Okay. Anissa. Is that right? Anissa? Okay. Cuz I don't want to I don't want to pronounce your name wrong. Okay, I'm going to color him the same as I colored the first one. I'm going to do um the different grays. Oh, he's so cute. I definitely don't think I'm going to be able to part with this set once he like once you're not able to use him anymore. Well, you can still use them, but like I'm trying to only use current products for like my YouTube channel and stuff, so but oh, he's so cute. That was like the walrus set. I couldn't get rid of him either. I just loved him so much. Okay, and go back in with the dark. Oh, I know. I was I, as soon as the the catalog came out last year, and I seen the walrus. Like it was one of the first things I bought because I just thought he was adorable. And then when the catalog came out this year, I was like so disappointed that they didn't keep the walrus. Like I was so disappointed. Oh, did I freeze up? Just a second. My tablet looks like it's frozen. And I don't know if I can refresh on here. Just give me a second. Um, there we go. Okay. No, I didn't get Oh Snap, but he's really cute too. Um, I love the frogs. The frogs are so cute. I, like I have a fit, like a frog fetish. But I just figured uh, I'll get a few things out of the, the January to June catalog. And with the free items that I got, that'll do me for a bit because I need I need to save money for the new annual catalog that comes out. So, like I really have to pace myself because I don't I only have three customers and they, they don't order very often, so it's really hard to pace myself because I see everybody else playing with new stuff and yeah, I gotta wait. myself I'm having a lot of fun I've met some great people on YouTube um, I've joined some collabs this year which I hope to help me out and I'm having a lot of fun oh I do love frog Cindy I used to collect them. Like every time I'd see something with a frog on it, I would buy it. 
And then my husband's like, you got to stop. You have a problem. Like I have like frog bath towels and yeah, it just got crazy. So I had to put a stop to it because my, my house was starting to look like a frog shrine. <laughs> Which, you know, I think I'm going to color his teeth. In crumb cake. Because donkeys have like dirty looking teeth, I find. So he's going to have dirty looking teeth. Oh, he's so cute. Now, okay. I'm really bummed that I can't find my, my stitch dies because I wanted to use them. So, I might have to use my other stitch dies. Oh, I found them. I found them, they were on my other, um, my other crafting table behind me, yay! Okay, so I want to cut him out. Let's see. Okay, I have to go the next one up. You still do collect frogs? Yeah, I know. I definitely had to put a stop to it because, and then of course, for my birthday, I would have like people buying me frog stuff. It just got way, way out of hand. Okay, so I'm going to run this through and cut him out. And then I'm going to take the next one off because I definitely want to mat him on another color. And let's see what we got here, what we got going on. I like turtles too. I love the turtles in the, the whale paper. I fussy cut those turtles out no problem because they're totally worth it. Okay, so... I think I'm going to have him there like that. And do you think I should mat him in black or in yellow? What do you think? He's so cute. I love him. In black. Okay. Oh, it's only 20 after 7. Okay. I was thinking it was later than that. Because Deb goes live in 40 minutes, right, Paige? I think she's putting her, her live from yesterday onto today. Let me cut it out in red as well, and we'll compare. Because there's a lot of black going on in that paper. Um... I know I have some cherry cobbler scraps here somewhere. Do I? Yeah. Yep, I do. Okay. love winging it on the fly.
Let's see. Oh, I love these rectangles. So what do you think, black or red? Hi, Karen. Oh, somebody else from Michigan. What time is it where you are, Anissa? So Mary likes the red, June likes the red. Red is cute, yeah. What if, I have an idea. What if, what if I take a piece of black and I have, just a second. Mm -mm -mm. What if I take, oh, I need my peony dies, just a second. So in the prize peony stamp set, there is a, a border die. What if I run this in the smaller, a smaller square, like run this in the smaller square and then cut a border out. Let's try that. And we'll have a little black accent. I think that'll add a nice little element. And then we can just have, let me see, I just gotta trim this off. And then we can have this peeking out here like that. And I'm gonna cut this. Don't want to cut that. I just think it would look better to have it cut right on the edge of the scallops. So let's do that. Like that. And then we can have that poking through like that. I still haven't figured out what I'm doing for a sentiment, huh? Okay. Like, how does that look? Or should I make that longer, you think? Because it's looking a little small, isn't it? Do you think I need to make that just a little bit longer? I think it needs to be longer. It looks a little funny, doesn't it? So maybe I'll go down one size from the red piece. I think that'll look better. And I can just I can just cut out these scraps and do that. So I'm not wasting anything. Sometimes you don't know until you like try, right? I just think it needs to be, yeah, it needs to be a little bit longer. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. I think that looks a little better. It was just looking a little odd to me. Okay. There, I think we're getting there. Does that look better? I think that looks a little better. Okay, so. Now, what, do, what else do I have for sentiments here? Yeah, it looks cute. I gotta get me some magnetic sheets for these dies. That looks better, yeah, I agree. So this is another stitched rectangle. I thought it'd be cute to have the sentiment down here. I just don't know what I'm gonna use for a sentiment. Let's see. I'm not gonna show you my table page because you're just gonna say it's immaculate and it's really not. go with something totally different the world is better because of you I kind of like that now will that fit in there Ooh, I don't think it's gonna fit I definitely want to use this I don't know if June is here Paige if she is she's not talking she might have been here earlier Do another hee haw at your birthday and stamp them side by side and then cut them out. Oh, there's June. Oh, she is your, yes, Paige, she is your partner in snark. Yes, that is for sure. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what to do for the sentiment. I'm stumped. all these new stamp sets today. There's going to be a sentiment here somewhere. Let's see. We have... I can't wait to make my own background paper with this. I don't know. Maybe I, um, oh, I know. Maybe I'll use my banners pick a punch because I kind of like this one. The world is better because of you. I don't know. I'm drawn to that one for some reason on this card. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you so much for sharing. I really appreciate it. Have a great night. I don't even know how much longer my phone's going to last because...
It kind of need, needed to be charged before I even got on here. Um, I think I like this sentiment. The world is better because of you. Oh, you make me smile. Let's do that one. Okay, I changed my mind. I changed my mind. Okay. Oh, I might I might have labeled this little. This is in my um. Will that fit? No. Gosh, it won't. Okay. Let's just stamp it and see what happens. I might just I might just fussy cut it and add it to the card. And let's see, what color? I think just black. I think just doing it in black. Oh, the donkeys are gorgeous. I love the donkeys. I'm gonna be so sad when I can't use them anymore. I am, I am. Okay, Terry, thank you so much for coming. And thank you for following me. That's awesome. I appreciate it. Okay. I'm going to stamp that right here. I don't know. I just love it. It's just such cute sentiment, don't you think? Now, I could cut this out with this. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Where did you go, little plate? There you are. Okay. I got Sadie off to the side, but I'm putting her to work. Okay, so I could like just kind of stagger that somehow. I don't know. I think it might be too big. See, this is where I get myself in trouble. I keep changing my mind what I want to do. What do you think? Yes, you have to get the donkeys. I don't know. I just, I really wanted a long skinny sentiment. I'm rethinking this one, but I don't need a sentiment on the outside. You know what would be cute too is to add a, a add a little flower. There is which stamp set was it that had the flowers? You wouldn't believe me, Paige, but my table's a mess. It is. It really, really is. Okay. I'm looking for the... <laughs> oh, this is a disaster. Okay. I had... Um... I had... Where did it go? Oh, my goodness. I had... There's, a, there's little flowers that come with... Um... The love you always dies. It had a little flower in it. I thought a little flower would be cute by the sentiment there. Oh, oh is it right here? Is that it? Okay. I will be organized one of these days, not tonight. Look at these. What if I cut out some flowers and I think I'll cut them out in yellow I think that would be cute 
and we can add some flowers. Right. Oh, they're stuck to my plate. I'm like, where'd they go? <laughs> so, there's one. There's two. You know what would be cute is to layer these. Like, stagger them. Can I stagger them? Yeah, I should be able to. Yeah, like that. And then, like, put one there. What do you think? Oh, they are cute, aren't they? And then maybe like one there. And then just kind of have this down here. Um, I just want to check something else here. What did I do with that? Oh my goodness. Okay, I think we need to step back and stop. I, I can't add any more stuff to this because then it's just going to be way too much. So let's just start piecing this. <laughs> I know. Okay. I'm going to start. I'm going to do the inside first. Okay. I don't even know how long. How long have I been on for? This is going to be a long live. But when you get new stuff, it like, you get motivated to, to create. And I mean, come on, darling donkeys. So cute. So stinking cute. Okay, so let's get this glued on. Yeah, because I'm, I'm pretty sure Deb is going live soon. Okay. So that's there. Oh, I still got 14 people watching. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Don't go crooked on me. Okay, so I'm going to glue this to this. Oops. gonna go on here like this so this will give people an idea like making a card like from start to finish there's a lot more involved than you think and then when you got lots of choices to choose from it makes it even harder okay so it's my glue eraser I got just a little little smidge of glue. So I'm thinking maybe, I just want to see something here. I want to maybe I'll put that over here. Oops. And have the donkey there like that. What do you think? And just glue that right down. I was thinking about putting another layer behind that, but then I think it'll be too much. So let's do that. I think that will work. The reason why I like to put sentiments on the outside of my card is because nine chances out of ten I'm going to sell this at a craft show. And I think it's important to have um, the sentiments on the outside. And I usually leave my cards blank inside, but 
the odd time I will, um, the odd time I'll put something on the outside. Okay, so actually I should glue this down first, shouldn't I? So I'm going to raise this on dimensionals. Um, maybe I should glue this to this first. And then I can pop it all up. Okay. Hi, Tammy. Where are you watching from? Okay. Got to use up your edge pieces. Don't waste nothing. Another one there, and then one there, and then oops. boy, this card was this this card made me work tonight. Let me tell you, but I think it's worth it. Cincinnati, okay. A lot of first time people here. Thank you, Cindy, for sharing. I appreciate it because I'm pretty sure that's where most of the people are coming from, which is awesome. Okay, let's see. Okay, so I'm going to put him. Do I want him down here or do I want him up here? I'm going to put him right, right about, i got to make sure he's straight. I might have glued that on crooked, but it's too late. Okay, so now I'm going to add a few of these little flowers. And do I want to just add them or do I want to, do I want to like, stack them. I think I'm just going to add them because once you stack them, it's hard to tell if they're stacked. What do you think? Okay. Hi, Blanca. You think I should put a flower on the green? I don't know that I like them staggered. You like them stacked? Okay. Let's see. I might have to cut out a few more. Because maybe I will add one to the green. Okay, where's my... Come here, little plate. Look at my plate. I really need to replace that soon. Okay. Okay, so. These are so cute. These little flowers. Whoops. No. Gluing them down together is going to be fun. So maybe I'll. How's that look? We'll just do three. Your plates look like that too. Yeah, but my my dies are starting to get the impressions of all the divots. That's the only thing. 
And then I can add, what did I do with my dots? I had dots here somewhere, oh my goodness. This place is a mess, oh there they are. And then I can add three small dots to the inside. Let's do that, okay. Now gluing these flowers together is gonna be fun because they're really tiny. Looks good, doesn't it, June? This card was a lot of work. A lot of thought went into this, this card. Okay, so I'm gonna do it like this. Okay, so I'm gonna put one here. So that's the only way I can think of how to, to add these because the hole in the center, I don't want glue seeping out of that. Like I can't have too much battery life in this phone. So it's probably good that we're gonna be wrapping it up soon. Oh, come on. I need my little tweezers, okay, so. Oh, they're like that. These are so cute, these little flowers. Whoops. Okay, and I think I want one right here because there's a lot of wasted space right there. And then by the time I get wrapped up, it'll be time for Deb's Live on YouTube. And then I work tomorrow, and then I have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off, so I have lots of time to play. That's exciting. Thank you guys, whoops, whoa, that's a lot of glue, just a second. Whoops, that came out way too way too ooh. I guess I squeezed too hard on that one and then this one I'm gonna just kind of slide right there like that thank you everybody for sticking with me I really appreciate it I don't know I just like to wing it on the fly that's that's how I like to do my lives. I'll save the prep stuff for my shorter YouTube videos. Okay. I don't know, I might add a little bit of, um, it just looks like he's floating in the air. I think I need to add a little bit of ground underneath him. I think that'll help. And I hope I don't mess this up. It does look like he is floating in midair. Maybe I'll just add a little bit of. So, now I think all we have to do is add the center of my flowers. And then we are done. Done, done. Deb's on. Okay, I'll be there in a minute, Paige. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, what did I do with my take your pick tool? Okay, so I'm going to put some small black dots. I have a feeling I'm going to be using a lot of these dots because... They're just so cute. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, I got a mess going on big time. And I ain't showing your page. Okay. Get some of this. Just get this tidied up just a little bit here. Okay. So there's the card. Isn't it cute, Hildy? I mean, I mean, there was a lot of mapping out for this. Winging it on the fly, but I look at look, look how cute he is, and that's the inside. So there's the card we just finished, and this is the card we did earlier. Where do I go to watch you girls? Um, I'll message you when I get upstairs, June. Okay, I'll send you a link. Okay, and then you can come join us. Thank you, Blanca. Thank you, Anissa, Hildy, Rhonda. Hi, Rhonda. Just message me on Facebook, Rhonda, and we can set up a class for you, okay? That would be awesome. I, I got lots of new products for you guys to come play with. Look how cute these are, little donkeys. I know, they're so cute. I just love them. So, message me, Rhonda, on Facebook. We'll set something up. Okay? But anyway, I should get going. And June, I'll send you a message. I'll, I'll link you to her YouTube channel so you can come join us. All right? Thank you so much, everybody. I really appreciate it. I had a lot of fun. And uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.